Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I do hope that all of you are doing well. And I mean that. I was up most of the night with thoughts running through my mind about all the great people we have here in YouTube community. Far too many for me to name off. There's just so many of you. And there are a few in our community that for whatever reason bring drama, stress, duress. They bring a burden that just doesn't fit. And usually we don't know why. On my channel I've always tried to bring positive and bring truth and bring the facts as I know them to our community always based on love and always based on the sincere hugs that in themselves carry a special energy that I hope with all my heart will someday reach around our world a world that is in so much turmoil our world it seems in every aspect is full of problems you know strife often making us feel as though our whole world is out of balance I've heard people say out of balance some people even say it's like the world has gone topsy-turvy, gone upside down. In our YouTube community, we're seeing more and more anger. We're seeing distrust. We're seeing slander. We're watching as hoaxes are brought forward, fake channels and channels being set up only to create untrust create division these channels are paid most of them they've got the ads and most likely those who do not want us to share any truths are the ones paying the people setting up the channels and running around leaving obnoxious comments and replies well they're being paid to break the chain of truth the chain of facts the very information that would bring back harmony strength and balance to a very upset world lies and even hate being manufactured for a dollar. We watch as people down one another and bicker over the most unimportant things. We see anger grow and verbal bashings when two or more people just don't agree. I've often said I see the color green and I see it my way I see green my way right past my eyes but I cannot guarantee that the green you see is the same green I see for whatever reason people have begun to bash each other and tear each other apart just because they don't agree these fake channels that are putting out deliberate obnoxious alterations to videos and to truths you know photoshopping and and bringing in fake objects in the sky and all these different things to induce fear to induce upset turmoil pain hurt, anger, 
frustration. And yeah, even a lot of people have bailed out of YouTube. They've ran because it just got too stressful. I can honestly say that I gave thought to that last night. To just closing the true Ray smile and walking away. Going back to my simple, dutiful life and reaching out to strangers on the street or in the grocery store rather than this cyber world. But I've grown to love too many people, so I stay. I feel connected to so many, so I stay. And we continue to watch as people down one another, bickering over all the unimportant things, we see anger grow and verbal bashings because they don't agree. Or when we, or when our opinions differ as much as the news reports across the world. I mean, gosh, even the news channels can't agree on what's actually happening or what is not happening. You know, fewer agreeing, fewer and fewer people agreeing fewer people understanding, fewer people doing their own research, fewer people digging in for the truth, and instead they get angry and nasty, vile. There's only a very few that actually hang on to the energy of truth very few of us and I count myself in that because I do know the truth a good part of it I should say not all but a very good part of the truth and I know that it begins with the energy of love loving each other even those that attack or bash or deceive lie hanging on to the energy of truth, of love, of understanding. We teachers who have the burden of bringing our world to balance by building up the very energy that our world needs in order that it can be back in balance. The energy that is positive, not negative the energy of love, the energy that will feed the hungry, heal the sick, and remove the pain in war-torn lands worldwide. Worldwide. We have that energy, that energy of love. We could heal every bit of it. We could bring back the beauty and the glory of this world just through our energy, a power that was gifted to us by our Creator, you and I, each and every one of you. But we're not focusing on that. We haven't got our focus where it needs to be. The focus of love and sharing the energy. That's what my hugs are. If you could just hug one another and let that energy flow. And it flows and flows and flows and flows worldwide. You can't even fathom the energy that would go into feeding the hungry, healing the sick, removing the tears and the pain in worn, torn lands worldwide, the energy that we humans are responsible for. It is our duty. We are responsible for that energy of love. Nobody else. We own that responsibility. We, the stewards of the world, We each are responsible. 
our energy is the golden key. It's the golden key that I found in a dream. It's our energy. Feed the good or feed the beast. It's a daily choice that we must make. Each day we must make that choice. What are we feeding today? Are we going to be the good stewards? Are we going to share love? Are we going to pick up somebody that's feeling down? Are we going to help somebody that's confused and, and maybe they're being obnoxious, maybe they're being nasty, maybe they're threatening to hurt somebody? Maybe their energy is just sour. But as good stewards, is it not our job, our daily choice that we must make to feed the good and not the beast? Let the beast starve. Feed the good every day, second, every second by second by second. It's a choice that we must make. Our world is suffering. It certainly is. It's horrible. But it's our fault. We've put off so much negative energy that things are just negative. We must change it. We really should. We really have to. In 1973, a Lakota by the name of Vine Deloria Jr. wrote a book, God is Red. I'm going to read just a little bit of that to you, a little section. The lands of the planet call to humankind for redemption. But is, it is a redemption of sanity, not a supernatural reclamation project at the end of history. The planet itself calls to other living species for relief. Religion cannot be kept within the bounds of sermons and scriptures. It is a force in and of itself and it calls for the integration, inter integration, integration. Thank you of lands. Let me say that over, guys. It is a force in and of itself, and it calls for the integration of lands and people in harmonious unity. The land waits for those who can discern their rhythms. The peculiar genius of each continent, each river valley, the rugged mountains, the placid lakes, all call for relief from the constant burden of exploitation. The planet itself calls to the other living species for relief. We are putting off such negative energy. To my sister Linda, Little Bear, I need to take the video that I shared of yours down because it is so polluted now with anger and many many wonderful people defending and trying to bring truth working hard to bring truth a truth that should be easily seen easily recognized 
but for whatever reason we have somebody that's very unsettled and to them, them to that person I send a great big hug but I need to take it down not because I don't appreciate every comment and everybody standing up together in unity in unity as we're supposed to for the positive, for the good, for the understanding of all but because of the negative that is now dwelling and I hope you understand I hope all of you do I don't normally pull any comments or anything like that I believe we all have our say but uh, I want my channel to be positive I want it to be about the truth I want it to be about love I want it to be about jelly beans like somebody this morning sent a video out and of all things it was exploring jelly bean pool perfect timing perfect timing anyway I hope you all understand that that is what I'm doing I'm going to go ahead and pull it and it's not because I don't respect or love each and every one of you and appreciate your hugs and your love and your support I love all of you each and every one of you Weeping Willow too I love you too and together we'll get through this but we need to work together to get through it the people that are trying to hurt us are doing a real good job we've got to block them I don't mean with a button or a click we need to not let them influence who we are and what our job is as stewards for the world it is time that we wake up to the power that we have the gift that we've been given and share love and in 1993 a Lakota Indian Vine Deloria Jr. knew and long before Vine it was known that our planet itself calls to the other living species for relief if we want relief for our world we need to make the right choice each and every day feed the good or feed the beast a daily choice that we must make every second to every second love each other don't slander each other don't be nasty build love help seek the truth we'll find the truth we all have a piece of it it's like a great big puzzle there's nobody right and nobody wrong but if we get it together our puzzle will give us the picture that we're seeking I love you all. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love. Always great big hugs. And thank you, each and every one of you. You make my world complete.